I'm not Alistair Summerlee. He was on the program um, and had a family emergency and was unable to join us today. But I'm June Hinton. I'm Dean of the College of Human Sciences at Auburn University and uh, Executive Director of the Hunger Solutions Institute. I have been so inspired by the speakers and by the conversation. And I will tell you, as the anchor to PUSH, we have been so excited about the things that we are hearing about what's happening on campuses. Um, things are popping. I'm, I'm looking right here at Jeffrey Lansdale. First of all, Jeffrey was with us at um, the UN in December when we had our first PUSH meeting and um, went back, and this was already in the works, but put together a conference on uh, the whole issue of rural youth and um, invited a number of university representatives and again, just began to, you know, do something about it. Uh, that whole thing that we've been hearing about, you know, it's one thing to know what needs to be done, it's another thing to know how to do it. Patrick <laughs> talks about this and it is true. Those of us in academia want to help but you know, getting what we're doing from where, from from our laboratories to the front lines of hunger is a big step, and staying inspired. And I am so um, privileged to see these presidents who have stepped forward. President Gouge, early in the program, named another 12 or 13 universities that have come on since uh, December. You noticed who they were. I mean, they were the big land grants and the small liberal arts, and they were international. And this is exactly what we had hoped for because it does take all types. And it's not just about the big research universities. Um, we have had, you know, this inventory and mapping challenge that we decided that we're going to pursue. and. Many universities, I mean, many presidents of the 80 universities that have become signatories to PUSH went back to their campuses and they designated what we're calling PUSH points of contact or PUSH points. The PUSH points on these campuses are uh, very, uh, in very uh, prominent positions, uh, everywhere from provosts and, and uh, vice presidents at various, uh, rep responsible for various aspects of the university, um, ag deans and liberal arts deans and y you name it. But they have come on and where we are with the, the inventory and mapping process is that we have at Auburn just gone through and established a draft of some categories and data points that we thought would be helpful if we were to ask um, institutions to collect these data, those have now gone out to push points and we're beginning to get feedback from the respective institutions. Um, very, very um, enlightening, but I, one in particular came from Cornell and the push point out of Cornell made the comment that she said, you would not believe what becoming a member of PUSH has done for our campus. She said, where we had all of this stuff going on, we literally didn't know what we had going on. And uh, is Steve Pepke, he, Steve, there you are. Feedback from Michigan State, comment about, what, what did you say about the inventory? I uh, raised some questions about priorities and about whether the um, goal would best, the goals would best be met by extensive collection of data or collecting of some sort of key data as, as a first step. Exactly. And <clears throat> he made the point that one size does not fit all when you start collecting data because uh, a Michigan state, for example, that has all of these partnerships. We're trying to get a handle on who are you partnering with? Who are those international partners and those domestic partners? But I mean, it permeates your whole campus. So we're going to have to figure out the best way to approach this, how to phase it. But let me just say that you're going to be hearing back from us. So where do we go next? That's 
one of the first things that you will be hearing about if you haven't if you haven't already. Second, I want to bring greetings along with these two young women who have spoken from the University of Missouri in Columbia. Um, <clears throat> Brady Deaton, who is the uh, Chancellor Emeritus of the University of Missouri and is now the Chair of BIFAD, is extending an invitation to uh, Universities Fighting World Hunger to hold its next annual summit in Columbia, and that will be uh, February 25th through 28th. On the 25th, that will be a push meeting for presidents to come in that will be hosted by the president of the University of Missouri system. We will have a, a program through that next morning and then um, joint keynote speaker to end the push meeting and to begin universities fighting world hunger that will be a kickoff for the summit. So we're very, very excited about that. The other thing that we're doing, we're, we're looking for ways to incentivize push institutions to come on, get in, stay invested, help us know what to do. And um, Mark Keenum, who is the, the chair of our steering committee, is the president of Mississippi State, was not able to be here today. He has a trustees meeting, so, you know, there are priorities on campuses. But <laughs> he, he was commenting about, um, you know, what are those incentives? How can we keep our, our institutions engaged? And we talked about a number of things. And he said, well, you know, the thing that I think that PUSH offers the most effectively because of the way we started is our relationship with United Nations agencies. And that actually was the impetus behind uh, or one of the reasons why we thought we really needed to begin uh, um, an organization like PUSH, in talking with representatives of UN agencies, they're saying, we want to work with universities, but sometimes we don't know how to enter. We don't know how to get there. And so um, Mark was saying the relationship, the fact that Universities Fighting World Hunger started in a partnership with WFP and we strengthened those those partnerships with FAO and uh, with UNDP and UNICEF. And so as we begin to continue that, I think that it will be a reason why institutions will want to join PUSH and become a part of this. Plus, we have our eye on the prize. We're planning on solving hunger, and we're planning on universities being the tipping point on this. And we can do this, but we have to be focused. We have to figure out you know, what are those, com uh, those um, innovations on the shelf that, that have not been commercialized? What's going on on these campuses? I don't know whether you saw the um, Washington Post this morning, metro section. It says, big data and the war on hunger. And this was about the uh, Capital Area Food Bank. Nancy Roman, who used to be with the World Food Program, runs this, and if you read the story, it's all about this guy who was just, you know, one of these tech geniuses and was about to leave um, the food bank, and Nancy said, no, no, you cannot go. We've got to do these. You know, there, there's a bigger challenge. And so, you know, we talk about big data a lot on our campuses, but isn't it time that we take advantage of what we have technologically to do a better job of targeting? It says, again, like some of you had said, that uh, contrary to what you might think, that more of the hungry are in the suburbs. So really, really interesting stuff. So that's, you know, so much, so much is going on. And I, I just feel... Uh, I feel very affirmed and very excited about where we are with PUSH at this stage of the game. Some days you think, oh my goodness, you know, what, what, what did we bite off? <laughs> but, you know, as we see people stepping up and saying, no, this is really, really important. I wanna, as we 
wind down, and we are winding down to the reception. It, uh, it does say working reception. Nicole gave me a hard time about this. She said June, really. Yeah, and, and it's true. It's, it's not a true working reception, but <clears throat> we hope you'll get a glass of wine and continue to talk about, about these issues. But I, I do want to take time, first of all, to thank our speakers today. I was so inspired, certainly by President Hernandez. <clears throat> Kathy Bertini, you inspire me every time I hear you speak, and especially about uh, girls' education. That's a major, major issue for you, and a uh, big concern in addressing this gigantic issue that we're facing. But what you did today by going through some concrete steps of what universities pre presidents need to do, you know, the fact that you're on a campus, and we said uh, Kathy has been in all sectors, basically. She's seen it all. She's been in government. You know, she's been in, in, um, in academia. And so someone who comes at it from this perspective really has insights that we can benefit from. Uh, Shengen Than, we thank you. Uh, if free is doing tremendously good work, and what you said about finding ways for us to take our knowledge base, um, marrying this somehow with what's going on with IFPRI, there have to be ways that we can enhance these collaborations. So thank you so much for being here. Um, Roger Thoreau, always, he is the man who can put a human face on hunger, and uh, he's He's been one who has been at our summits. He has inspired us. Uh, he's not only looking at the first thousand days uh, in the developing world, but he's working out of Chicago now. And is going to be having insights for us about domestic hunger and, and how what the contrasts are. So I'm really excited about what's going on with that. And then Patrick, it's so good to get to know you. I've heard your name for years, and finally to have a chance to see who you are, what you're doing, and to get the challenges that you've issued for us has been tremendously helpful. I also want to thank our planning committee. I mean, it's always a huge job to put on one of these um, events, and. That includes Annie Amberlin and Steve Taravello from the World Food Program, Amy McMillan from um, the Food and Agriculture Organization, Becky Middleton from the Alliance to End Hunger, and Claire Hervey and Samantha Alvis from the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities, Sue Schramm uh, doing yeoman's work still from the Association for International Agriculture and Rural Development, and then our Auburn people, um, Lauren Little, uh, Jessica Adams, Sarah Raines, Harriet Giles, and most of all, Paula Hunker. Can we give all of the, this <laughs> big hand? So I'm asking from you to help us know how to move forward. You know, how do we how do we want to communicate? Uh, where does the next push need to come from? Uh, how can we as a secretariat serve you best? Do you want to form subcommittees? I mean, if you have thoughts about what might be the most useful, uh, please let us know. And again, we're going to, going to have an opportunity to talk about this some as we move into the reception. Let me once again thanks all of you for being here. You are friends, you are colleagues, and we truly believe that we've made tremendous pro progress for the time that we have been active and can only hope that there are better things to come. So thank you, and I will join you in the reception down the hall and in the far corner. Thanks very much.